Well, Coeur d'Alene High School students will no longer be attending in person school five days a week and the superintendent announced today its high schools are returning to a blended model and unveiled a new plan for its K through eight students. Our Morgan Trout talked with parents tonight about that change. The tone has shifted here at Coeur d'Alene High School. Parents were excited to watch their football players face off against their rival Lake City. But the school district just announced that all Coeur d'Alene High Schoolers will be returning from in-person classes to a hybrid schedule. After two weeks, Coeur d'Alene schools have called it quits. All three of their high schools are moving back to a blended learning schedule starting next week. And let's just say some parents are not happy. What's the word? Uh, angry, not angry, but aggravated with the school system. To me, it's really disheartening, and I think that it's not based on science and facts. The Panhandle Health District and Kootenai Health have been seeing an increase in COVID-19 cases, and Coeur d'Alene Schools has too. The superintendent's decision is following coronavirus positive test results and exposures among high school students. It's worse. We're only two weeks into this change, and so now it's just a panic. The school's board of trustees voted unanimously to move the district from blended learning or orange mode to fully in person classes, yellow mode, in late September. They made the move, but not before foreshadowing the outcome. It worries me that if we're moving, making this big change, um, that we're going to end up squarely in orange in a week or two weeks and have to pivot back. Wake up and look at the big picture instead of focusing on this pandemic that we're going through. Despite the oldest students moving back to a hybrid schedule, the administration is proposing a new schedule for students in grades K through eight to ensure they receive more in person. Under this new plan, elementary and middle school kids would be in the classroom four days a week, no matter the risk level, orange or yellow. According to the district, the consistency of the new schedule will provide greater stability and continuity while reducing the effects and stress that families feel when schools are asked to switch their schedules. The board will be meeting on Monday to vote on the new proposed plan for elementary and middle school students. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Morgan Trow, Creme 2 News. Back to you in studio.